Hey guys, we are back with some more Toronto GM mode. And last time we simulated past the free agency and into the next season. And unfortunately, I do think actually now that I look at it, we do have to make a trade. And it's going to be pretty big because I was looking at our contract situation for next year. And oh boy, is it a big year. <laughs> because, okay, just take a look at this, guys, here. We have coming up... Next year, after after this year is over, we have Kadri, Barry, Riley, uh, Goldobin, Carrick coming up, and then John Gibson as well. We're not going to be able to afford all those players. One of those guys is going to walk in free agency. I just know it because they're all too young, you know, to uh, <laughs> be declining and asking for their, you know, going out contracts if that's what you want to call it so I do think we do need to trade one of these guys and that guy is going to be Nazem Kadri because all right so he's playing second line center as of right now and he's you know getting 4.5 as of right now which you know is really good for a second line center who's a 90 overall but I just get this feeling that Kadri is going to ask for something crazy like 8 mil that is where my fear is in terms of next year's contracts and he's only getting 67 points i mean that's not bad for a second liner especially when it was 90 overall but you know you can get close to that kind of production from someone who's like an 86 overall who is a veteran who is close to you know dropping off a bit and that's exactly where this trade is gonna go that i'm about to make with nazim kadri but I think it's a good one here. So just before you go commenting all crazy, uh, <laughs> let the let the trade happen first. So Kadri. And then another person we're going to put in there. Uh, hold on, let me just find him. Is Jeremy Bracco because, I mean, his puck skills, average, uh, shot is average. You know, everything else isn't really too great besides his skating. Yeah, just, just. You know, he's 24. He has a 2.3 salary. And this, this will all make sense once we uh, actually complete the trade. Because it'll, you know, <laughs> it'll, just, it'll just look better. Uh, because, you know, trading a 90 overall forward is never, uh, you know, never looks good right away. But once this trade is complete, it should look a lot better. So we're both we're gonna be picking up both centers. Uh, that would be Derek Broussard and this uh, Kip Harper guy. He's a four and a half yellow star, 21 years old, playmaker. Look at that puck skills. That's already better than Broncos, and uh, I mean below average shot. But we're not getting him for the shot. We're getting him for the playmaking and for the third line. Not only that, he has two years left on his minor league deal, so that makes him a great financial option. And then Broussard, yeah, he's, he's got a 4.9, but it's only on a one year. He's 33 years old, so we'll probably ask for a little less coming up next year. And not only that, we're going to get Broussard on a 50%. <laughs> so that we save money for this year and most likely next year. And since we have Harper on a two, year, uh, two more years deal, uh, we won't have to worry about him until the year after. So that's where I'm coming out with this. And... This also makes sense for New York because here, if you look at this, Broussard is their highest overall forward. So they're getting the 90 overall forward that they need. And then they're getting some depth as well in Bracco, which it looks like they already have. But a lot of their depth is getting old, you know, like Eric Stahl and Andrew Cogliano. So I think this really makes sense for them and for us financially as well. Uh, and, and look at their salary cap as well. They're at 20 mil for salary cap even after this trade, so it's it's good to, you know, get them some cap, and, and it's good for them to hold on to Broussard's cap as well with that, and I'm not sure if this trade is going to go through or not, I haven't tested it, but hopefully it does, it looks like it should, Kadri's trade value is way up there, Brocco adds some value to it, and the seventh is just in there for, you know, for for some giggles, I, 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 don't, I don't know, I don't know why I honestly put the seventh in there, but it, I guess it's just to, you know, not piss them off. And uh, Harper, surprisingly for a 
four and a half yellow star he's not really that up there in trade value so i'm guessing he's not going to really turn out as the game is saying he's going to get with the potential but if he gets to be like a second line center to the point where brassard is now i'd be very happy with this trade that that would that would be the best case scenario for this trade to uh work out for the toronto maple Leafs because yeah it, it just it just makes it just makes sense because <laughs> you know mainly financial reasons for us and you know new york's getting a solid player for at least a year so i mean hey neither this is a trade where neither side can complain so not gonna ramble any further let's get this deal done okay so yeah this is what i mean about uh putting the seventh in there you've done all right meeting our block needs but the value isn't sufficient at all so it looks like we're gonna have to send little more that way. I didn't want to overpay for this either because we're already sending a 90 overall for, uh, to them. What if we sent them our third from New Jersey? Would that work out? Yes, it did. All right. There you go, boys. So we traded away Nazem Kadri, but we got some depth and financial security back and young talent and a veteran, which we desperately needed as well. So there you go. I mean... Honestly, looks a lot better now. And we also have 5 mil in cap space to work with, which means we can now sign our rookies, such as Pilger Jarvi, uh, Lemieux, and McCarron if we wanted to, and their playoff depth as well. So uh, really uh, not much to complain about with that deal. Again, let me know what you think of the deal in the comments. But I think that was actually a really good trade. Uh, one of the best I've made in a while, actually. Well, then again, we haven't needed to really make any trades in quite a while just because of the playoffs runs. But I think that was just necessary. Uh, that was just a necessary trade to make because of the financial state that we would have been in a year from now if we hadn't made that, you know, if we hadn't made that trade. So I'm happy that I did make that trade, honestly. And plus, it gives us more cap to uh, have available for now. And there you go, all three of our rookies signed. And we still have 2.3 remaining in salary cap. So that is really good. We're in a lot better situation now, honestly, I think. And, you know, we may not be as strong as a team now. But we're more uh, well-rounded, you know. And we, ha we at least have cap space now. So that we can keep all of our stars going forward. So... It made sense to trade Nazem Kadri. Um, I don't know why I want to scout, though. Yeah, we'll just do this. And, uh, yeah, we'll go get up to preseason. Yeah, I know. That was a lot of uh, <laughs> rambling there, but uh, whatever. Got to explain myself. Uh, no, I'll save the upgrade. Not really any reason to do that right now. Roster moves. Let's see. This game likes to goof up on this sometimes, so just got to check. All right, so yeah, our first line, JVR, Nylander, and Hall. Uh, second line, obviously, Broussard, Kucherov, and Goldobin. Third line, Griffith, Hayes, and where is he? Where is he? Yeah, he's down here. Kip Harper. <laughs> uh, oh, we got to send someone down. All right, so uh, I'm thinking, yeah, McCarron for sure, and then we're going to call it. We're still past the limit. I guess we had uh, way too many players there by this auto assigned by the computer. Hold on, let's see. Four, six. Hold on, was that seven or eight? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, that was seven. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going to rotate between the two defensemen if we have to. So we're going to send down Lemieux. Uh, we're going to send down Mar uh, Martin. Remember, he's just playoff depth. Same thing with Maroon, I think. But we are going to call up Kip Harper. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Pop Gave is now up to an 82. Uh, again, we have we just have too much depth on forward. There, there's no way we can fit all these rookies in here. Um, okay, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. That's our top 6 right there. 7, 8, 9. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Do I really want 14 play 14 forwards in the lineup? That's the thing. 
I don't think Pooljah Jarvie would benefit from being in the AHL anymore. Yeah, you know what? Let's just send Maroon down there. We'll use Pooljah Jarvie as a backup. Uh, yeah, that that's our uh, <laughs> that's our lineup for this year, at least to start out. So, yeah, let's go into the lines. There you go. Maroon's playing top line minutes in, in uh, the AHL squad. So there you go. Here's our first line. Yep, just as expected. Second line, as expected. Third line, uh, switch Harper with Trocek, and there you go. So honestly, boys, I like this roster a lot better than I did with it having Kadri in it. First of all, because of Broussard's experience. I mean, I know Kadri is only uh, three years younger than Broussard, so he's technically experienced as well. But the thing is, again, we have him on a we have Broussard on a two point four million dollar salary. We only took half his salary from New York, and we got another young up and coming player, Kip Harper, to follow him up in a couple years from now. So that's going to be really nice uh, down the middle for the next couple of years. And uh, defensively, they have Jason Bellin instead of Murphy. Um. Again, I kind of just want to go with the core that worked for us in the past, so I'll go with Murphy for now. But I do want to leave Tenorti and Murphy together. And then Day and Carrick, Barry and Riley, there you go. Power play, Hall, Nylander, JVR. No, 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 I want to spread out. Ugh, that's difficult. I sort of want to spread out the scoring. But I also, at the same time, just want to, you know, keep it the same as 5-on-5. Five five. Yeah, you know what? We'll keep it 5-on-5. Five five. So, we'll put Kucherov over here, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, we'll leave Kucherov on his 1-T. And then Broussard and Goldobin. You know what? I'm actually wondering, should we put Kip Harper there? Just so he can get some growth on the power play? That might be a good idea. Yeah, maybe if we, even we could fit him in the on the point somehow, uh, or maybe replace Goldobin or something. No, 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 no! Not taking Goldobin off. No way. Not taking Gold Goldobin off the power play. See, now this is a problem here. Uh, yeah, let's put Carrick up here. Who is better offensively, Barry or uh, Day? I think it's Barry. I want to say it's Barry. Yeah, it's be definitely Barry. Okay, so we'll we'll take Day off the power play and we'll put Harper there. But the thing is, uh, does Harper really is Harper really cut out for the point? I don't think so. What about Broussard? Um, who's got a better faceoffs? All right, so Broussard's got a slightly better faceoff rating. I'm wondering, do we put a winger on the points and then put Harper or Broussard on the wing? Definitely not Goldobin on the point. No way. It's a weak defensive category for him. If anyone, it's going to be Kucherov. But then, how would Harper fit in here? And Broussard as well. Who's faster, Broussard or Harper? Yeah, it's Broussard. You know what? Let's put... Uh, I don't know. I feel like that'd be a mismatch in chemistry. Yeah, having three playmakers there. At uh, at Ford. You know what? Let's try uh, let's try Kip Harper on the on the point. Let's just see how it works out. If it doesn't, we can make some changes throughout the season. No problem in that. But actually, hold on. Let's let's just check. Cart. Uh, <laughs> Harper. <laughs> Harper is a lefty. So do we want to put him... Yeah, let's put him on the left and Barry on the right. That makes sense. Yep, okay. Power play, four-man power play. Um, really nothing to edit here. I mean, just... Yeah, we'll do that. That's about it. Penalty kill. Trocek was definitely on here. Hall... I'm not sure if he was on here. I think he was. Broussard, definitely not. Um, God, uh, I think Paul Mario was there. And I seem to remember either Hayes or Smith. Uh, not Griffith. 
It was either Hayes or Smith. Yeah, yeah, I think it was Hayes because of his uh, physical category. But what's his face-offs like? Yeah, 60. You know what? No, no, no. It was Paul Mary in the center, right? Yeah, it was Paul Mary in center because of his 70 for face-offs. Yeah, I think that works there. And we'll go with Tenorti and Murphy up here. As the shutdown defensive core, we're going to leave Riley there on the, power, on the uh, penalty kill. But is it going to be Day or Barry? I think, yeah, I think Barry w worked out for us last year. Yeah, we'll, we'll do that. We'll, we'll just stick to the penalty kill as it is uh, Trocek and Paul Mary, I believe. Tenorti, Barry with Riley, and then Murphy. Okay, there we go. Four on four. Uh, I mean, not much to really change here besides Tenorti. Got to put Carrick there. And leave Carrick on the right. And then Tenorti and Murphy. Switch them. Nope, not, not switch them. Switch them. <laughs> And then Harper and Kucherov, that sounds good. Hall and I'm going to say Harper as the extra attackers. And then, of course, Gibson and Jim Reimer back in Toronto. And, yeah, that looks good. Actually, I'll put Hall, Nylander. Yeah, that looks good. Yep, we're all good, boys. Going to start the season here in a second. Just got to... Make sure the captains are all good. I know since we traded uh, Kadri, he was an alternate. Got a set the second alternate. So it's going to be Riley is the captain. And then JVR. And yeah, Hall. That actually works out. So yeah, that's good. That's that's nice. Okay. We're ready to start the season, boys. <laughs> but you know what? Actually, this has been... <laughs> oh, for God's sakes. This has been a long video. I know. I I've been rambling a lot. But uh, next video... We're just going to take it as far as we can in the regular season. And uh, other than that, let me know what you think of the Kaji trade in the comments. And I'll see you guys in the next one when we start the 2021, <laughs> or the 2122 rather. I was looking at the full number. When, you, when we start the 2122 season with the Toronto Maple Leafs. See you guys then.